Welcome back to another edition of Eatin' Shorts right here at the Rant and Share. This moment me a real lucky strike, so I found enough change to go get a pack. Small victories in life. But, uh, I figured today, of all days, you know, I was going to save this for a month from now. You know, on that special one-year anniversary, and I may do something for that. But, uh, I don't know if those of you that are new here know this or not. Uh, hi, my name is Joe. I'm a middle-aged drunk going through a midlife crisis who used to take care of his elderly father for 20 years. And uh, five of those were on a feeding tube, almost six. Now I take care of my elderly mother. I guess some explanations in order. About a year ago, my dad got real sick. Uh, he died October 10th. Uh, that's less than a month away. And... I've been dealing with some problems in life, and I, I've probably handled them poorly. I've been under a lot of stress and a lot of strain. You know, it started with this time last year needing tires for the car, and Dad was in and out of the hospital constantly, and me having to sell shit. Uh, that's Pete. Uh, I'll text him here in a minute. But I started my little journey here on YouTube land probably, I don't know, five years ago in the gun world doing things and little projects and arming people and better preparing and better training and, you know, doing all the awesome things that we do every day, right? And I've been helping a lot of people come to this, you know, and during the COOF, I was there when nobody had their first firearm and I was helping, you know, I did my part. On almost every country on planet Earth, through my email or through Discord or then later through my YouTube. And, you know, I'm never going to quit, okay? But about 11 months ago, I started boozing real heavy. Uh, I had just experienced, you know, the loss that shook me for a lifetime. Like, I've lost a lot of things and a lot of people. You know, and losing grandma and all those people and the dog, you know, that really fucked me up. But, you know, my dad and then later North and then my Aunt Betty and then my brother Matt and everything else really kind of got me down, man. And... I started this YouTube channel October 10th, so I didn't have to smoke a cigarette and talk to myself anymore. Because the person I smoked a cigarette and talked with every day, right here in this very chair, where the whole mess started, uh, he died. You know, have I handled things poorly at times? Yes, I have. And yes, I'm prone to my outbursts of fucking anger and rage. Trust me, if you woke up the way I do every day, you would have turned into a serial killer by now. You know, it's just cold facts of life. But, you know, I appreciate all of you for being here every day and for commenting and liking and sharing and subscribing because even if you weren't here every day, I'd still be talking to myself here at the Internet. Or even if I didn't have the phone, I'd still be talking to myself out of here because I'm the only intelligent conversation I have most of the time. Mom and I generally don't say four words to each other in a week unless some bullshit pops up. It's not like I don't love mom, it's just not our way. We just never talk a whole lot. And mom knows almost nothing about my old life, other than I had one hell of a drug problem and I had to do some shit to get by. You know. That's the thing, you know, people remember all the bad shit you did, you know, all the naughty things you did, the time you fell down at Christmas dinner because you're blind, stinking, dead-ass drunk. And you come in at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon with two hookers carrying you upright and tucking you into bed and then making noisy, happy sounds of macaroni and cheese being stirred while the whole family was over. And you can't remember that whole year because you were awake for most of it and a uh, blind, stinking, dead-ass drunk. You know, they focus on that, not the times that, you, you know, you paid off the house and then they got back into debt again and didn't tell you and shit like that. So it's been a process, man. I've, I've kind of mellowed out in my old age. I'm kind of going through one of those midlife events where I think about the, as good as things are going to get have already passed. And I am now looking at the uh, John Denver-esque kind of dive into the mountain. And no, I will not be singing any sunshine on my shoulders. Uh, I don't care for John Denver. But yeah. So... 
that's basically where I'm at, you know, state of me and the state of the channel. I will be okay. I did, I did go get some food for me and mom today, so we're not going to go hungry. She's not missed a single meal during this whole experience, by the way. This is why being prepared is important. I have missed several. But, you know, I don't really care if I eat at this point. I, I am to the point where I could go on a one-man hunger strike and starve myself to death. Just out of sheer spite and ignorance. I'm not going to, because unfortunately I have more shit to do with my life. But, don't let things drag you down, man. Like, I'm having a bad day. Things can always get worse. You might be having a worse day than me. And don't get yourself down, man. It can always be worse. But I try not to be a negative butthole all the time. Uh, it's easier said than done, especially in recent events. So I'm going to finish this lucky strike and go continue on with dealing with my problems for the day. And uh, I will yak at y'all later when I have something more intelligent to say.